Good shot delivery again. Got himself into an awkward position. Parviz Marouf, get the feeling he didn't expect the shot delivery. Clever delivery, in fact. Uh, he's realized that uh, Marouf had been looking to get on the front foot, as you would see that front foot coming forward. And uh, dug it in deep. In fact, it caught him napping, in a sense. Eyes on the ball. A lot of coaches will tell you. Wasn't the case with Maruf. The field on the leg side. Got two men. This is the offside there. Wide slip and a gully. Two saving single. Next side, you see the man at mid wicket, and there's a man in front of square looking for the slower delivery to be flicked in the air. Comes into play, Yibrad Singh. Maruf will do well to try and work on his footwork. He'll either need to go deep into his crease when playing back or get fully forward. This really has been a problem with most Sri Lankan batsmen playing from the crease. You know, on pitches uh, that the ball is doing something, they could get caught. Neither going forward or back. And also needs to make sure that he doesn't get far too across in his front leg. Ball is swinging just a little bit, and Ajit Agarkar has got the ability to swing it into the right handers. Sri Lankans have been looking to Maharuf uh, to develop him as an all rounder, but uh, he's fallen short on both counts. In some pain, Maruf hitting the toe, end of the bat. Good Yorker from Ajit Agarkar. Ajit Agarkar attempting the Yorker. The tall man digging it out. The bat coming under pressure. Was it a catch? Ajit Agarkar making a good attempt, but not succeeding. 2.30 for 6. Santoshi and Madhus present the New Year's Eve extravaganza. Two superb shows. At London Hilton Park Lane, dinner and dance with Shama and friends. With DJ Jadu. Four course meals served by Madhus with complimentary wine and orange juice. Also Mumbai nights at Sheraton Skyline Heathrow. Hosted by Music Asia. Delicious finger buffet served by Madhus. For ticket information, call Santoshi on 07747-100218. Or 020 -2461. To 30 for 6, Sri Lanka has set a target of 509 by India. Too many runs. They've done well in the second innings. They've rolled out for 206 in the first innings, Sri Lanka. Doshan again getting to 65 and then getting out. India need four wickets to win. Mubarak now having to bat with the tail. He would do well to try and make use of the opportunity. Gone for the pull. Vibraj trying to get underneath it. In the end, it's wide of the fielder. And four. He does have a wide range of shots, Mubarak. As we know, has been batting at the top earlier on. Very quick to pick on the short one. He's a tall man, so he was able to keep it in control. Very well played indeed. Good camera work following that ball. The 
two men in the deep. Deep square and deep fine. You would expect that. Slipping in the Yorker. There you are, the two men. Down. Waiting for that hook. So Mubarak uh, will have to bear that in mind. So when the area is bare, you really could go for the shot, even if you can't control it. Another good delivery from Patan. Those are the kind of pitch where you can't duck. I did hear you mention about the lack of bounds at certain times. He's bowled very well with this old ball, Patan. In fact, um, given hardly anything away, just uh, concentrated on good line and also bowled that at very impressive speeds. Maybe Dhoni just having a word with Patan and telling him where exactly is Mubarak standing. We take a look just outside the crease. That's the message. Great delivery. This ball is almost 83 overs old. Once again, a very good delivery as you would see. With this old ball, just look at the movement. Certainly doing a lot. Of course, one must say that Mubarak should be quite accustomed to playing the wing ball as um, he's been batting at the top. In fact, opened the innings at times. So this can't be something new. But again, when the old ball does this, it's something strange. It's been a very good over. Boundary coming of the first ball as the top edge took. But after that, there have been four great deliveries. Averaging around 135 in this over. Really, it's a tough call to be bowling with this old ball. Yes, we'll have the brand new one, which is due. A little bit more shine, more hardness. And again, now the change of angle. Decides to go around the stumps. He's looking for new angles. Has been something we've seen the Indian bowlers do so well. Using the crease at times. And as a result of it, always giving the batsman something to think about. Oh, good take again by Dhoni. 234 for 6. 234 for 6. Sri Lanka. Need a new 275 more to win. So change of bowling. Ajit Agarkar is off the attack. Harbhajan Singh into the attack. Ajit Agarkar, a good spell from him. Next In fact, uh, picking up the wicket of uh, Mahalaj Javan and a very important one. So it's now for the spinners once again. It's bowled long spell, 26 overs. In fact, in a few spells. Did get rid of Maruf in the first innings, cotton ball. So I think Virendra Seva playing with the mind of the batsman. So one gets a feeling that Maruf still hasn't really been able to get his feet moving. Another great delivery. It's a pity. Every time a bowler bowls a great delivery, he doesn't get a wicket. Maharuf very uneasy. Just not playing the right line. You always depend on the batsman making a mistake. As a bowler, even though he bowls some very good deliveries. Harbhajan Singh requesting Billy Baran to stand just one step behind.
Which must be difficult, Ranjit. You see the batsman, he's standing in the shade. Harbhajan is bowling from the sunshine. And part of the wicket is in the shade. So, at times it could be difficult. It can be a bit uh, of a problem for batsmen. And there you are, the new ball's just been taken. So, the Indians uh, continuing to use the new ball with the spinners. Also, could be an occasion where the first time that the second new ball was taken by a spinner. He's pulled out a surprise. I'm sure the batsmen were not expecting this. Catch it. Catches the call. Big appeal. Not out. Plenty of excitement with the new ball. Bounce, turn. The great seat position, as you could see. A quick bowler would have been proud of that. But umpire Billy Bowden very rightly unmoved. Yuvraj Singh. Make a pun. That's uh, Anil Kumble. At point, making a good save, it's 2.35 for 6. Malika Bandara, Muthaya Murlidharan, Lasuk Malinga. These two have to bat a long, long time. Mubarak on 18. Farviz Maru for two. And surprise, surprise. The Indians have made a lot of surprise moves in the last couple of months after Greg Chappell has taken over. He's taken the second new ball, started with Harvajan. Now he's given it to Anil Kumble. Right arm over. So I think it seems to be infectious. They did it with the batsmen and now with the bowlers. But again, I reckon they've been weighing the odds. And if they feel that the odds favor the decision they take, they do take it. And uh, most often it is successful. Pat first. Big, big appeal from Anil Kumble. He was convinced. Nadim Gauri not convinced. It was straight, but pat first again, but never easy for umpires when there's a bat also involved, when they're so close That's together. Well, it's gone for me. New ball will not turn a great deal. And as you mentioned, it's a very tough call for the umpire. We do have the benefit of replays. Yes, you really need a bold umpire to decide which was first particularly watching with the naked eye now that would create an element of doubt he's starting to turn the new ball yes Shiva this is exactly what uh, Kumri does he gets one to spin and then from that point onwards uh, the batsmen are looking for turn and then he works with the straighter one It's a batsman, then you're in two minds whether to leave or play. That's when you get into trouble. If every delivery turns, then you've got less problems. But the odd one is where the real problems arise. Almost 100 Ks. The last delivery. Safely negotiated the last delivery of the fourth day play here in Ahmedabad, India, Sri Lanka. Looking for a score of 5-0-9 in their last innings. Sri Lanka, uh, 235 for 6. India, 
They've had a long day in the field, batted for 20 minutes, played five overs and de declared. At 316 for nine, Kumble and Harbhajan remained unbeaten. Sri Lanka, just three good contributions in the batting lineup. It's been a good day for India. Sri Lankans must be pleased with the resistance. And there you are, that's the Sri Lankan card. Taranga batted for a while, a good 47. And then the Jawab and a Dilshan partnership. That was what uh, really lengthened the Sri Lankan innings. Bowling for India, Patan once again picking up a wicket in his second spell with the old ball. Wicket to Harbhajan with the new ball. Then Agarkar providing the breakthrough. Anil Kumble, 3 for 86, the most impressive. He relaxed a bit. Harbhajan Singh's having a good match. That's how the match uh, turned out. 398 India getting a lead of 192. Morning, it's a very foggy morning this one. And it'll come well, See the practice methods of the Indians. They've taken the second new ball, and even in his warming up, he's bowling with the new ball. And it'll come Sevak and uh, Lakshman, the slip catches, warming up. These are very important. You've got to practice with a sense of purpose, Ranit. Absolutely. In fact, uh, we saw Harbhajan Jansen with a new ball yesterday. Let's see what he's got today. Yes, he's got a brand new cherry. The new ball is uh, only two overs old at the moment, so he's got to get his fingers wrapped around something that's new, and that's what they're doing. He's got to be on the spot right from the time he goes out there to the middle. So the Indians focused on what they've got to do today. They've got to pick up four wickets. So umpire is still in the middle. It'll be a delayed start, but we'll have to find out how long it is going to be. So in parts of the ground, very damp at times. And the sun does come out pretty late here, this part of uh, India, the western part of India. Sunrise around 7.15 in the morning, so it takes a lot longer for the ground to dry up. Nadeem Gauri in your picture as well. And this man has turned Indian cricket around. Greg Chappell, he's got his own methods, a few surprising moves, but every one of them has worked. Sri Lankans. Are also out there. They have a tour of New Zealand coming up shortly. Yes, uh, p perhaps today, maybe tomorrow, we should know what the uh, squad going to New Zealand is. They go to New Zealand and uh, from there across to Australia to play in the World Series Tri Nation, which uh, involves the home country Australia and also South Africa. And so we could keep a Sangakara. He's not been able to do a great deal with the bat. Been having a tough time uh, keeping on these pitches which have kept low, awkward bounds. And that young man, he's done well, certainly in the last innings, showed a lot of metal, a lot of steel. Batted well, unfortunate to get out for 47, missed uh, a half century on debut by three runs. But uh, all that has happened uh, must uh, be of great value to him. Dilshan had a good game, two half centuries, unfortunately, not able to convert it to big ones. have a nice little band here. This is a kind of ritual in Ahmedabad. They're there every morning entertaining the players coming in and uh, being the last day they must be having their share. They like this limelight and not very often do they get this opportunity of being with some of the top cricketers from India and Sri Lanka. Long discussion and it's been a long inspection as well. It looks like we might get past 10 o'clock. We've been starting at 10 o'clock the last three days. Of course, the first day we started at 10.30 and he's captain well. We're in the Sebag, very attacking at times. A lot of men around the bat. Be a bit of concern with his batting form though, but he's the kind of player just one good knock can change things around. Yes, uh, he's mentioned that in the press and uh, that's uh, what's in his mind. He's got confidence in himself. He's been going well for a long time now and uh, just a little minor hiccup for him at the moment. But there's no doubt uh, with uh, plenty of cricket coming up, Tour of Pakistan is uh, going to come back uh, strongly. This is Basim Jaffa who's just got into the team and talking about uh, teams. I think India going to Pakistan will be a great series. Pakistan have done well against England. India have been having a good time the one day against Sri Lanka and South Africa and then this test series. Wasim Jafar will come in as uh, one of the openers. 
Gambir not marks the runs. Virendra Sehwag not getting big runs. He's looked good, Virendra Sehwag. It's always good to get somebody like Wasim Jaffa in the team. A lot of people might wonder why he needs to get used to Greg Chappell's methods. He needs to get used to Greg Chappell's methods and it's about time that Greg Chappell sees him for a week, 10 days to analyze his strengths, his weaknesses, what are the kind of work that he needs to do. And it's always important for people to know one another so they can work and get things in order before a tour of Pakistan because it's going to be a difficult one against the best quicks in the world. Shoal Bakhtar bowling well, Mohamed Sami is a good uh, new ball bowler when he gets his rhythm. So it's tough times but important times ahead. For Wasim Jaffa, Gautam Gambir and Virendra Sebag and anybody who does well against Pakistan can more or less make sure that uh, he plays for a couple of years for sure. Yes, Greg Chappell, I recollect, was uh, talking about bench strength and uh, certainly India have worked towards that. He started off with the tour in Sri Lanka for the Tri-Nation. Wasn't uh, a successful mission there and uh, from then onwards uh, it's been a matter of building up the younger players and we've seen so many of them and uh, they've all been impressive. And Mohamed Kaif, well, he'll be wondering. His certainty in the one-day side, but will he get uh, a place in the test match side will be the concern. But he's fielded extremely well in this match. Taking four to five catches, five catches in fact, at short leg, and all of them have been very good. It's the kind of support a spin bowler needs close into the pitch. Bat pads needs to be taken, and his reflexes are quite amazing. Mohamed Kaif enjoys his fielding, expects every ball to come to him when he's on the field. I think the umpires more or less finished their inspection. We'll just uh, probably get to you. What will be the time that they will start this match on day 5? He's got a tough tour ahead. Rich Hamill will uh, suddenly relax with the uh, Christmas New Year coming around. <laughs> the tough times are later. Yes, uh, there's going to be a week or so off, get the mind off the game, enjoy Christmas. It's always the time of the year when um, families get together, when people uh, just relax a bit before the new year starts and uh, reflect on what's happened uh, during the old year. Uh, try and uh, get uh, things into perspective before the new one starts. And uh, Billy Bowden explaining, having a chat there with uh, his colleagues. And uh, certainly, Shiva, today they took much longer with the inspection may take much longer to start could be 10 30 but we'll soon find out and keep you updated on that plenty of kids coming to watch the game a lot of them take up to this sport because it's a big thing it can be a small thing like a seat in a good college in sports quota maybe a job maybe a profession maybe a career lots and lots to be achieved if you're a cricketer and if you're a good one Sky is the limit. Ladies getting in as well. Women's cricket. Indian women's team doing well against England. A lot of ladies also coming in. So the umpires have made their inspection and decided they will start play. 65. A lead of 192 was always going to be a big one. And India again in the second English struggling. At 100 for 5 then recover through the row order. 316 for 9 declared Yuvraj the top scorer with 75 Malinga Bandara picking up 3 for 84 second innings Sri Lanka looking at 509 quite an impossible target in the fourth innings on a wearing pitch at 235 for 6 Dilshan again getting to 65 and then getting out Kumble picking up 3 for 86 here we are a delayed start once again 10 o'clock local time Mubarak will be the man there Sri Lanka will look at playing for most part of the day. He's on 18. Two fours and a six for him. Showed signs of aggression and he will probably continue that. Morning, Ranil. Good morning, Shiva, and uh, good morning to uh, viewers all around the world. The last day of this uh, test match, the last day of this test series. And he's had a great time, Harbhajan Singh. Certainly in this game, he's uh, picked up wickets, bowled accurately, really troubled every batsman. He's got the new ball in his hand. It's uh, just in its uh, third over. And all is ready now for play to begin. Uh, Jehan Mubarak. He's on 18. As for his 31 deliveries on strike. Just waiting for the side screen 
to uh, move into position. And play will begin in a few seconds. One for 68 for Harbhajan Singh. Here we go. Day five, ball one. Turn straight away. New ball was taken yesterday evening. And I thought Irfan Patan might get the new ball this morning, but it's Harbhajan Singh. Good position of the scene. Lots of turn. Good attacking field as well. Slip, gully, silly point, shot leg. We'll have to fight hard, Sri Lanka. Indians can have uh, plenty of fielders around the bat. Runs don't matter. It's a matter of uh, picking up these last four wickets. Mubarak, on the other hand, will just uh, forget the match situation and just play each ball according to its merits. Well, they've got to play normal cricket. Not look at the situation that they are in. That will add to the pressure that they're already facing out in the middle. Senior man between the two. Mubarak. Maruf can bat. Set the non-striker's end. And looking to get the batsman to drive is Harbhajan Singh. Tossing it up. Good trajectory. Four deliveries pitching almost in the same spot. That last one, as Shiva said, had a little bit more flight. A bit more bounce as a result. The important thing, Harbhajan is not bowling too quick. Tend to get carried away when you have the new ball in hand because it skids off the surface. Already picked up eight wickets in this match, Harbhajan Singh. Mid 80s, the speed. Made in to start with, 235 for six. India need four wickets to win. Have decided that they will start with the spinners. Harbhajan Singh starting off with the maiden, the first over of the day. Now it will be Anil Kumble. Bowl well in the second innings, Anil Kumble picking up three wickets already. 100th test match for him. 2 for 87 in the first. Lots of bowling for him in this match. 56 overs. Picked up 5 wickets. He's got 18 wickets in the series so far. Slip, gully, silly point and short leg. The mid wicket is left open. There's the man at short fine leg. Maruf on strike. He's on 2. Sheva would have had uh, to think how he's going to start the day, whether he was going to give uh, either Irfan Patan or Agaka a go, because the ball is just three overs old. But he's gone straight away for the spinners. Leading edge and um, Anil Kumble giving it uh, air. Maruf getting drawn onto the front foot, pushing too much with the bottom hand. There's no mid-wicket, bit of curve towards the leg stump. He's trying to close the face of the bat a little too early. That could be dangerous against the turning ball. Big appeal! And he's given it! Anil Kumble strikes for India. Very early on day five. Maru, the batsman, has to go. The Indians will celebrate. What was the decision? Was he given for LBW? We'll know in a second.
There it is, hits the pad, pretty low, and uh, he didn't stretch too far forward. Nadim Gauri having a good look, he uh, worked everything out in his mind. Was it going to skip through and hit the stumps? He did think so. So Maruf gone and uh, Shrebag's decision to open with spinners vindicated. Sri Lanka lose their seventh wicket. Maruf for two, 235 for seven. Love cricket? Get coached by the legends. Ace Academy have set up development days where you can brush up on your cricketing skills. For £35, you can be coached by the best in cricket, including the likes of Mark Butcher, Darren Goff, Andrew Kadik, Usman Afzal, Vikram Sulanki, Chris Lewis, Devon Malcolm and many more. The break is... Development days will take place on the following days. The South, the Oval, 7th and 8th of January 2006. The North, Old Trafford, Manchester, 29th of January 2006. The Midlands, Trent Bridge, 25th and 26th of February 2006. These days are open to any age, both sexes and all standards. Call now for details on 0870-757-3132 or visit www.aceacademy.co.uk. There are no boundaries with ACE. Malika Bandara, the new man in. Played well in the first innings. He's got the ability to bat. He's done well at the first class level in Sri Lanka. Can he do it here? Yes, he certainly had quite a good tour. Malinka Bandara coming in uh, for this series. Having some good A-team performances and uh, good performances in England. And uh, he's facing up to Anil Kumble, who's uh, right on top. That was Maruf. Came forward, didn't judge the line properly. Got his pad too far across. And uh, Bandara there, he ju judged the line properly, got his foot out of the way, got the bat onto the ball. Long way forward, but the height in the umpire's mind was good enough. There were really any doubt where the ball was heading for. I think it was a good decision from Nadim Gauri. Successful over, 235 for 7. Lanka losing a wicket this morning, that of Farviz Maruf, LBW Kumble, the last over for two. Mubarak on strike to Harbhajan. Catch Catches the call and we've gone up. And Mubarak walks. So the spin twins doing the job for India. They bowl well in tandem, these two. And it's good work. The new ball is being made use of in good fashion by the spinners. Turn and bounce. My word, the Sri Lankans are falling in a heap. Uh, we look toward to a fight here. But uh, Jehan Mubarak angling his bat. That's a sure way that you're going to take the ball towards slip or gully. And VVS Laxman uh, accepts the catch. Quite a straightforward one. Just dropped on him a little bit, but he got his hands uh, into the ball. And Jehan Mubarak goes. Caught Laxman. Bowl Harbhajan Singh for 18. Sri Lanka now 235 for 8. Love cricket? Get coached by the legends. Ace Academy have set up development days where you can brush up on your cricketing skills. 
For £35, you can be coached by the best in cricket, including the likes of Mark Butcher, Darren Goff, Andrew Caddick, Usman Afzal, Vikram Solanke, Chris Lewis, Devon Malcolm, and many more. The break is... Development days will take place on the following days. The South, the Oval, 7th and 8th of January 2006. The North, Old Trafford, Manchester, 29th of January 2006. The Midlands, Trent Bridge, 25th and 26th of February 2006. These days are open to any age, both sexes and all standards. Call now for details on 0870-757-3132 or visit www.aceacademy.co.uk. There are no boundaries with ACE. Mottaya Murlidharan has to come in very early today. Losing two wickets, Sri Lanka. 99 test matches for Murli. Average of just over 12. Best of 67. That was against India. Not to you, Baj, not to you. Well, now it certainly looks like a matter of time. The overnight pair both gone. Mubarak, the last to go. Very feeble forward defensive stroke, angling his back too much towards slip. Oy. And uh, there's nowhere else the ball can go if it turns, if it bounces. It fairly high up on the bat, a lot of spin imparted, and uh, Luxman expect, accepts it uh, quite uh, happily. Against the turn, but he will do it. Take his wrist, Murli Dharan. Gets off the mark and also the first runs this morning. Three to Murli. Well, you could say you knew it was coming. Murudharan is not going to hang around. He uh, draws himself wide outside the leg stump. But it was short. There's no fielders down there. So might as well try it. Why not? Arbachan Singh wasn't amused. He's picked up uh, two wickets so far in this innings, having got seven in the first. Two more to go. Catch it. Bit of glove. 